Okay, right now we're looking at um, suspension and resuming of our application. You can see this is the sample application you can download with this article, but I just want to walk you through it very quickly. You can see that I've set up two events here. I have my suspending and my resuming states. Down here, uh, in my suspending event handler, I am saving two values to local data storage, uh, both the date time of when my app was suspended, as well as whatever value happened to be stored in the text box at the time. Then down here, we have uh, resumed, and you can see that I'm adding was resumed at, and then I'm adding back the date time that I retrieve when my application is resumed. And then finally, custom text, I'm setting a value, this is a text box, uh, and I'm setting a value equal to the value that was in there previously, but I'm going to add uh, a couple of letters above, before it, just so that we can see that it's been replaced uh, and the other letters have been added to the beginning. And of course, down here at the bottom, you can see that I have on navigating from to remove my event handlers uh, when my page leaves. So that is all of my code. If you look at the, the front side of my page, uh, you can see that I have a text block and a text box. This is where my message and my custom text values uh, are stored. And you can see if I scroll this out here just a little bit to 25%, let's see. You can see that I just have a simple text block and text uh, box on my page. So I'm going to go ahead and run my application. And you'll see that it will fire up here. I get my splash screen. And now you can see it says normally started. This is how my, this is how my application would normally start. Uh, this is what the user will normally see the first time that they get to our application. And they can come into this box and they can type something interesting like 31 days of Windows 8. Uh, and all is well and good. But in the case that the application, they leave it and they go perhaps back to Visual Studio or they go back to some other application, there is the chance that Windows is going to suspend this for them. And so we have the a way to emulate that using this toolbar that I demonstrated. You can go to View Toolbars and come into Debug Location. That is the one that I'm currently using. And in here, we can say we want our application to be suspended. And so you can see as I flip through this that right now my application is sitting right here and I can flip back and forth between what I'm in. If I hit suspend, now you can see that when I try to go to my application, it's going to say, hey, it was resumed. Uh, it was suspended at the time that I just did. And it has replaced the value that was in my text box by adding those J's that we had there at the beginning. Uh, so that's the very, very simple uh, idea behind all of this. Another thing you can do if you don't actually want to return to the application, uh, is to go ahead and hit suspend and then come into this drop down and choose resume and you can see in this case that uh, when I go back to my application uh, I have now added second, uh, a second set of J's to this. So this is how uh, resuming and suspending your application works. I just wanted to give you a quick visual uh, as to how that all played out. Uh, but it's very, very simple with a couple of uh, event handlers and you're off and running.